the Republican representative from Texas and House Judiciary member, Mr. Louis Gohmert. Congressman, welcome. Yeah. Always good to be with you, Trish. Thank you. What's your reaction to Nancy Pelosi's big speech today? Well, one thing is consistent about uh, Nancy Pelosi and the Democratic leadership. They continue to project on Republicans and the president what they themselves do. And that's what uh, uh, Professor Turley was trying to point out. It's not Trump that is abusing the Constitution by going to court and trying to protect the institution of the presidency. Uh, it is the Congress. And so it, when you have uh, somebody like a committee chairman that just decides to grab all of the phone records of people he doesn't like, uh, that's more like a king than Trump is. Trump hadn't been able to do that. When you have uh, a Speaker of the House that just declares that, you know, they're going to take Trump down from day one. And uh, it, that's more like a king than President Trump has been. <laughs> so we see more projecting. But I tell you, if you just look at what the president's charged with, I know you have very closely, but these are the things that Joe Biden did. These are the things that President Obama did. And so uh, what occurred to me earlier today was that um, as saddened as I am at how low the bar has been placed by Pelosi, right. actually, uh, they've given an insurance policy. I'm with you. I don't think it's going to be necessary. But say Joe Biden won. We're told, oh, he's the only Democrat that can win. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is take all of their impeachment records, documents, and scratch out Donald Trump and put Joe Biden, uh, and we're see, ready to go. Representative, He's ready isn't to be that a impeached. shame, though? Haven't they it actually, is, they're, they're destroying the foundation of our system. This is exactly what Vladimir Putin wants. Exactly. It is exactly. It, it's, and it's what uh, Putin wants. He didn't care so much which person won the presidency. He has always wanted to divide America. He's always wanted two yeah. big things. One, to get back the Soviet empire, and number two, to bring down America. And he has had willing lackeys here in the Democratic right. Party They're his that pawns. have divided America. They're helping bringing us down. They're helping destroy our constitutional self-government. And uh, so he's got to be happy about that. What a shame. And what a shame. There was corruption with Ukraine, and we need to get to the bottom of it. One well, we're going to get to the bottom lost. of it, because if this thing goes to trial in the Senate, it's all going to come out. It's all going to come out. Do you think it goes to the Senate? Uh, I think it will. I think it will. I think that the left has pushed Nancy Pelosi so far uh, that she doesn't have a choice. She's yeah. now going to have like to bring it up for a vote. But, but Trish, we just get notified today we're going to have a hearing in judiciary on Monday at 9 a.m. We weren't supposed to even be here on Monday wow. at 9 a.m. It was supposed to be Tuesday. And we want to know, what's it about? Well, it's about impeachment. Are we going to have witnesses? Well, we don't know yet. They're trying to bring down the president for the first time in American history through impeachment, and they don't even know what they're doing Monday. This is outrageous. This is the way a king acts. It's, it's just outrageous. Well said. Congressman Gomer, thank you so much. We'll uh, you, check Trish. in about Great. that Monday stuff.